behalf of Matt and Allie, their families, I want to welcome you. This is a very special day in their lives and in their families' lives and in our neighbors, in our neighborhood. It's a special day. We're gathered in the presence of God, family, friends, to unite Matt and Allie in holy matrimony. This is not something to be entered into lightly, but reverently. With God's blessing, today they will receive God's greatest gift, another person to share the joys and trials of life with. So, as those who have been chosen by God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving each other, whoever has a complaint against anyone, just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. Beyond all these things, put on love, which is the perfect bond of unity. I, Matt, take thee, Allie, to be my wedded wife. I, Allie, take thee, Matt, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer or poor. <laughs> <laughs> in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. This is my, my solemn vow. Wow. Denver, I work in education. And to do my school proud, I thought we'd start off this speech with a brief vocabulary lesson. The word is sister. <clears throat> to borrow from our good friend Miriam Webster, the word is commonly defined as a female who shares one or both parents with another. No disrespect to Miriam, but what a horrible definition. <laughs> another definition I found stated that a sister is one that is closely similar or associated with another. There we go, that's closer. Having grown up with three brothers myself, and after almost 20 years of friendship with Allie, I feel like I had the right to make up my own definition. To me, a sister is mandatory. But for real, without Allie, I wouldn't have survived our younger years. She was there for me in hard times, in good times, and everything in between. She taught me what it means to care deeply for people, how important it is for someone to have your back, and how to always end a phone call with, I love you. No, but I love you more. <laughs> for me, your sister is your closest companion, biggest champion, keeper of all secrets, someone who borrows your clothes and forgets to give them back. <laughs> the one that comes over for a Friday night sleepover and doesn't leave for a year. <laughs> The one who will eat every Parmesan bagel with you and French onion dip. Who loves your parents like their own, especially Lil' Bill. <laughs> who will laugh with you, cry with you, and celebrate with you. The real word and definition for a sister is Allie. Little did I know that one day about three years ago, while I was in the middle of the Target, I received a phone call from Allie that was the start of why we're all here tonight. From the second I said hello, I could tell this girl was giddy. She had news to share. All she says is, hi, what are you doing? Before, before I had the chance to go into my decoration dilemma, which I was in, she spreads out, I met a boy. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I've received this phone call a lot over the course of our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> However, from the tone of her voice and her insane excitement, I could tell this one was different. I walked around that damn target for almost two hours while she went into every detail about this new guy I met. Matt, whoa, that she had started talking to. She met Matt. There we go. Um, but honestly, Matt, from the second she said your name, I knew you were in for it. Fast forward a few weeks and months, and all I hear about is Matt and her new Frenchie Theo, who she had bought to impress him. 
Let's review that for a second. Had Allie ever talked about wanting a dog when she lived in LA? No. <laughs> Had she ever brought up wanting a French bulldog? Also no. <laughs> Allie had grown up with labs her entire life, and then she buys this 10, probably 20, 30 pound <laughs> French bulldog that snorts. <laughs> what a move. <laughs> In the beginning of their relationship, I had chatted with Matt over the phone through Allie's ear and over a FaceTime a few times. But it was about six months later that I decided I needed to meet him. It was Super Bowl weekend 2019, Rams versus the Patriots. Oh, yikes, sorry for that. Uh, <laughs> when I met Matt, I knew he loved three things in life. French bulldogs, golf, and golf. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He, I knew he loved my sweet sister, Allie. It was insanely obvious that they were the real deal, and I could not have been more grateful that she had landed someone who was going to treat her like the queen that she is. When you see someone who you care for so much be loved in such a way, it fills your heart. Matt, thank you for always taking such good care of Allie, for giving her the home that she's always wanted and the love that she deserves. Coming from a sister, I couldn't have asked for more. Shmally, <laughs> we've talked about this day for our entire friendship, and the fact that I'm standing up with you here shows me that a sister's bond is truly unbreakable. Today is one of the happiest days of my life because I get to see your happily ever after. Now I truly understand why you bought Theo. <laughs> because let's be honest, you're never going to learn how to play golf. <laughs> <laughs> Allie and Matt, you're playful, kind, so loving, and the most generous. I know I speak for all of us in this room tonight when I say we love you. We will support you as you enter this new chapter of your life. We are so grateful you chose us to be a part of this special moment. Shmal found her man, so in my mind, that means I have a new brother-in-law. So Al to Ali and Matt, and my new brother Matt, congratulations. I love you with all my heart. And to the Mrs. New Goody, give him hell. I was kind of an idol for Matt. <laughs> Everything I tried, he would do the opposite. For most of our life, the only thing that Matt and I had in common was our last name. But it wasn't until about 10 years ago that we started to really connect, and we realized that the other really wasn't that bad. We were kind of cool with each other, and maybe we could be friends, and of course I could buy him beer on the weekends because I'm older. In the about nine years since, Matt and I have experienced three nights that probably should have gotten us killed. We took 21 shots for my 21st birthday. But all's good. The next morning, a couple shower beers washed it all off, and we drove up to Cedar Falls to find my dad's boss. The very first person we find after 
I don't know, probably 18 beers each, is the guy who signs my dad's check. Thanks. He hands us a Coors Light and says, have fun. Everyone involved in that weekend might need a new liver, and we would have failed a blood alcohol test on Wednesday, but we made it. Not all of my stories about Matt involve alcohol. Some are about hard drugs and sex and gambling. <laughs> but I'll save those so my mother doesn't have to hear them. <laughs> but of course, we're here to celebrate Matt and Allie. Though I remember the first night I met Allie. I was the first in the family to get the pleasure. And I was visiting for Christmas after an incredible dinner with the Dolce Masios. We went to the Sherman Oaks house and Matt asked what I had planned for the next day. Matt had to work, so I said, you know what, I'll cook dinner. We'll let all your roommates and all their partners come on over. It'll be a great night. He said, cool, I have a friend. I've been texting this girl. I think you'll like her. He said, if, he asked if it'd be cool. I said, I don't see why not. If you like her, I will too. And he thought we'd get along. The dinner was great, but the company was wonderful. It was not long after that, the Matt brought Allie back to Iowa to meet mom and dad, and it was a hit. Allie learned that weekend that not only will the Goody and Berg family welcome her with open hearts, but also there's no sleep like Iowa sleep. We figured some of it might have been jet lag, but when she woke up at noon the next day, she, she knew she was home. And we knew that Allie was a perfect fit as soon as she started meeting the families. She took over to our crew like a fish to swimming. And we're not always the easiest to get along with. There were two moments that I'll never forget. When Allie had her first bite of a Rocky Mountain Oyster at the Iowa State Fair. <laughs> a Rocky Mountain Oyster is a bull testicle. <laughs> and of course, the night that Matt dropped to one knee. I w it wasn't exactly as planned you know, with the trip to urgent care and the finger in a cast. But we were betting on which finger it was on the drive over. Frankie and I had landed about 20 minutes before she called Matt saying, I think I need to go to the hospital. I cut my finger open. Matt muted his phone and said, which hand? <laughs> then, of course, we spent the evening proving that the Grutherfords were really meant to be. To Hannah. <laughs> We finished that trip with a great night at Finney's, hashtag Goody to be, and maybe that guy over there knows the Gutenkunz. Allie, you look great today, as always. And Matt, you really know how to pick out a good suit. But I'd like the two of you to look into each other's eyes for me, just for a moment, and realize that you are looking at the person who is statistically most likely to kill you. <laughs> So if everyone else would raise a glass. <laughs> to Matt, my best friend, and to Ali, the person who has made him happier than I have ever seen before. Slanjava.
Matthew, from the moment I met you at a bar for Monday Night Football three years ago, I knew you were special. During the first few moments of our organic, not set up conversation, your Midwest background was very apparent. I could tell you were genuine, intentional, and unique. Little did I know that night at that bar would change my life forever. I appreciate how honest you always are with me, sometimes a little too honest, and you were in surprises. I admire your tenacity and your dedication. Thank you for all of the early mornings and late evenings you spend to set us up for success in the future. I'm really proud of what we've accomplished together so far. Promotions, paying off both of our student loans, buying a total teardown of a house that many of you did not um, approve of or maybe thought we were a little crazy, um, a total renovation and a recent job change. And this is only the beginning. There's no one in this world I'd rather share these experiences with. I'm even more excited for what's to come. Thank you for loving me and my family so hard and for being the greatest Rutherford supporter. I've always prayed for the perfect fit as my significant other, and you are much more than that, especially with all the Rutherford mouth kisses. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited for our families to officially become one today. Hey, the Rutherfords has a nice ring to it. I'm beyond blessed. Um, to have met you and joined such an incredible family and words cannot express how lucky I am. Allie, you're the most sensitive, caring, humble, and enthusiastic person that I've ever met. I, as you know so well, am practical, tolerant, and a little bit more conventional. I have no doubt that God paired us to balance out one another. He put you in my life to be my adventure, my ecstasy, and he put me in your life to be your rock, your tranquila. <laughs> Three trips around the sun to this day since we first met and we've already accomplished so much together. Growth in our faith, growth, excuse me, countless hours of laughter and joy, career advancement, a complete home renovation that had us asking each other, whose idea was it to buy a fixer-upper? Yours. It was. <laughs> Who knows how much more we could have done had there not been a global pandemic for more than half of those days together. But we're just getting started. As we enter this lifelong bond in front of our family and closest friends, I promise to always practice yoga with you. Shake up your favorite cocktails. Pretend to be busy doing literally anything else just to get out of helping you put on the cover to our duvet. <laughs> And I'll always text you after nine holes to let you know whether or not I'm on pace for a four-hour round. <laughs> but in all seriousness, Allie, I promise to pray with you, protect you, encourage you, celebrate with you, cry with you, not only hear but listen to you, set and achieve goals with you, work every day to be a better husband and eventually a father than I was the day before. I promise to be loyal, faithful, and to always be in your corner. Ali, you look beautiful today and always. I love you forever. As we begin, begin our life together in front of everyone we are closest to and look up to, I promise to always put you first and make sure we're always growing together. I vow to love you unconditionally and honor our commitment through life's highs and lows. I will always encourage you to be the best version of yourself and your biggest supporter. I promise to pray with you and keep our faith at the center of our relationship. I promise to kiss you good night and good morning before 5 a.m. dance parties. I promise to make you your favorite breakfast every morning, toast with butter, peanut butter, banana, honey, and salt, <laughs> as long as you make me s'mores at night. I promise I will always encourage you to play golf and do the things that bring you the most joy and fulfillment. I promise I'll always remind you and encourage, encourage us to have fun, whether it's a night at home playing cards and jammies, going on spontaneous adventures, or crossing anything off our bucket list as your wife. I, I vow to be the best Frenchy mom and mother to your future kids. You are the best. You will be the best dad, and will have such a positive influence on our family. I'm so grateful to have you by my side as we continue to grow old and gray, or grayer, 
um, <laughs> together, and we truly make the best team. I'm so proud to call you my husband. I love you more. On behalf of my beautiful wife and I, uh, we'd like to thank you all for coming. Um, you came from far away or close by, and um, our hearts are so full right now because we have our best friends, our families uh, for both sides, all four sides, our work friends, people that we grew up with. It's, it's so overwhelming, um, but we're just going to eat this up tonight and have a great time. And, um, Tonight, after we're done with the reception and everything, we're going to PJ's. It's a dive bar in Thousand Oaks. We got a bus that's driving us over there, so we're gonna keep the party going later on. So um, it's gonna be a great night. And thank you all for coming out here. We love you all so much. Yeah. You know, going along with Liz, I, you know, I know about the dog. She goes, Dad, you know, I'm going to get a Frenchie. And I thought, is that a manicure? What the, what the hell is a Frenchie, you know? And, uh, you know, I'm, there's this guy. I'm going to get a dog. I go, oh, cool. I'm going to get a dog. You know, well, I took care of the dog for about a year and a half, you know? I, I taught him pretty well, you know, and I'm thinking, okay, you know, I mean, I don't know where to go from here. This guy comes over. I mean... Let me talk about my daughter first and my wife. I mean, we're, I don't know where she came from. Not, definitely not me, her mom, you know? I mean, the people that know me, you know, you know me. I mean, not me, you know? I mean, so, you know, I get a knock on the door. Here's Matt and my, my boys and I are sitting at home. Matt shows up and I'm thinking, He's like, hey, just came over to say hi. You know, what you say hi? You live in frickin' Thousand Oaks. What you, I mean, you're, you know, long ways away, you know? And he came in and he sat down. He, you know, he walked around in circles for quite a while. I was, you know, sweating. And, and, my, and I think Trent even said, I think he's, he's going to ask her to marry you. I, think, I, I said, I, I don't know. He's, maybe he's going to dump her. I don't know. You know? But he... Uh, you know, uh, he, uh, he said, you know, I want you, you guys to sit down on the couch, me and my boys, and ask, and my, no, you weren't there. <laughs> uh, was, was Karen there? Yeah, I was there. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I, I, thought, it was, I thought it was just us. I'm sorry. I was, crying. I was crying so bad. I don't know. I mean, I can't remember. I, I, you know, I mean, I, I remember when I asked her dad to marry me, I, it wasn't as nice as it was what Matt had said. I mean, I said a lot of bad words. Um, but, you know, he, he sat down and the minute, I, the minute I met this guy, I just loved him. And I figured, well, I didn't get a dog, but I got one hell of a son. I'll tell you that much. And I can't keep going on like these guys did on the mic, but I just, 
just want to tell you everybody I love my new family and I'm so happy. That's it. I'm dropping the mic.